Welcome to Education Lifeline. This is Trishita Paul, and today we will be converting between vertex and factored form. This is the final video in our three-part series on converting between different forms of quadratic equations. But if you haven't watched our previous videos on quadratics, a playlist will be linked in the description below, as well as on the top right-hand corner of your screen. Please check those videos out before watching this one. Let's first recall the basic formulas for vertex and factored form. Vertex form is f of x is equal to a times x minus h squared plus k, where the coordinate h, k is the vertex of the problem. Well, factored form is f of x is equal to a times x minus r1 times x minus r2, where r1 and r2 are roots of the quadratic function. Now, if you don't remember the forms of quadratic equations or how to use them, we will have a specific video that goes in detail about the three quadratic forms, which we will link in the description below, as well as in the top right-hand corner of your screen. Now, to convert from vertex form to factored form, you must convert to standard form. And then to factored form. Let's take a look at the example. f of x is equal to 2 times x plus 1 squared minus 8. Remember from a previous video that in order to convert from vertex form to standard form, you must square the binomials, distribute, and then combine like terms. If you do that here, we get 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 1 minus 8, which will give us 2x squared plus 4x and then 1 times 2 is 2, minus 8 is negative 6. Now to get to vectored form, you simply factor, which means that we can factor out this GCF of 2 first to get 2 times x squared plus 2x minus now I can see, I can factor this further to get x plus 3, x minus 1, and that is how you get from vertex form to factored form. Now, to convert from factored form back to vertex form, you must also convert to standard form before converting to vertex form. For example, in the function f of x is equal to 2 times x plus 3, x minus 1, you can first multiply all the factors together to get to standard form. That will give us 2 times x squared plus 2x minus 3 which will give us 2x squared plus 4x minus 6. Now to convert back into vertex form, we can find the values for a, h, and k to plug back into the original vertex form. So as we can see, a is 2, h is going to be opposite b over 2a, which is negative 4 over 2 times 2. So negative 4 times, or negative 4 over 4 is negative 1. If we plug this negative 1 back into this original equation, we will get our k value. So f of x, you can plug it back into 
either one of these equations above here. So we have f of negative 1 is equal to 2 times negative 1 plus 3 negative 1 minus 1. So that's 2 times 2 times negative 2. And that is k is equal to negative 8. So our final vertex form will be f of x is equal to 2 for the a, x plus 1, this negative 1 from the h, minus 8. If this video was helpful, please drop a like and subscribe to Education Lifeline. Be sure to watch our other two videos on converting between different forms of quadratic equations and check the description for more helpful resources. Please make sure to leave any questions in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.